Hello and welcome to Chef Carter's Cooking Corner. So today on Chef Carter's Cooking Corner, I am making a tropical dandelion smoothie. Yes, that's right. I am making another smoothie with dandelion with a tropical twist. So if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and like this video. So with this one, I started with mango. That's the yellow stuff that's inside the blender there and now I'm taking the last of my dandelion greens I froze these greens and then I was like "Ooh, let me put some dandelion in my smoothie and so that's what I'm doing right there and so on top of that so I have the mango the dandelion and then I'm going to add a few rings of pineapple can't have a tropical smoothie without pineapple and so you may wonder you know how is this going to taste and I'm gonna tell you between the strong flavors of the pineapple and I will be putting banana in here you really won't taste the dandelion it may give it like a little bit of a green flavor um, similar to like cucumber in a way because my mom, when she tried it, she thought I had put cucumber in it, but nope, it was dandelion greens, which are really strong in flavor, but you know, it's just like adding spinach to a smoothie. When you add the banana, you really don't taste it. Also, I'm adding coconut milk. Can't have a tropical drink without coconut milk. And so what I was showing you is I used a Folgers um, bottle for that and so it's what comes the instant um, coffee comes in there and I save that container to store stuff look at that look how thick the coconut milk is after sitting in the fridge overnight all right so before I add the coconut milk though I want to process these vegetables and get those broken down so I actually added two cups of water because that's quite a bit of fruit and vegetable in there and so I'm going to put the lid on there and I'm going to process it for about 20 seconds all right we want to get those fibers chopped up all right I like to see things blending and look at that beautiful green color it's becoming it's like springtime all right now that we have it blended up I'm gonna go ahead and add the coconut milk and I wanted to get every bit out of there. So what I ended up doing was adding a couple spoonfuls of water and shaking the container up. I didn't film it, but you can kind of see it at the top. And now what I'm going to do is take my bananas and add those. All right, so I made a mistake of having a little too much in my blender and I had a blowout, did you see that? But whenever you do this, make sure you wipe it up quickly so the fruit doesn't dry on there or else it's gonna be harder to clean. All right, so there we go. Nice tropical smoothie and it is delicious, y'all. So, are you going to try this tropical smoothie? Let me know in the comments. And I will see you next time. Make sure to like, subscribe, share, stick around, and watch more videos. All right, take care, everyone. <laughs>